matatag grade 1 quarter 3 week 4 day 1 mathematics to subtract numbers with mean winds up to 20 using different models preliminary activities direction write the given numbers as sums of tens and ones a 12 b 17 c 14 Today, we are going to learn how to subtract numbers with mean winds up to 20. Unlocking of difficulties, taken away, left, mean wind, minus, difference, equal, and subtrahend. Subtract numbers with mean winds up to 20. Direction. Read the problem below and answer the following questions. Kat had 12 guabas. She gave 7 guabas to Ned. How many guabas does she have left? How many guabas did Kat have? How many guabas were given to Ned? What do we need to find out? Possible solutions 1. By using counters Use counters to represent the 12 guabas Remove 7 counters to show the number of guabas given away Then, count the remaining counters to find that there are 5 guabas left 2. By using illustrations Draw 12 guabas on the show me boards Mark or erase 7 guabas to show the number of guabas given away. Then, count the remaining unmarked guabas to see that there are 5 guabas left. Three, by decomposing and composing numbers. 12 is 2 and 10. 10 take away. 7 gives 3. Direction, let us find the difference in these number sentences. 1. 14 minus 5 is equal to 2. 2. 11 minus 7 is equal to 3. 17 minus 9 is equal to 2. First, by using counters, 14 minus 5 is equal to 9. Second, by using illustrations. Third, by decomposing and composing numbers. By using counters, 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. By using illustrations. By decomposing and composing numbers. By using counters, 15 minus 9 is equal to 6. By using illustrations. By decomposing and composing numbers. The total number of objects representing the mean wind was split into tens and ones. Then, the subtrahend was taken away from the tens. The remaining number was added to the ones. Direction Write the missing numbers. Number 1 has been done for you. Direction Solve the equation. 13 minus 8 is equal to How you arrive at the answer. How do we subtract numbers with mean winds up to 20? Week 4, Day 2 To subtract numbers with mean winds up to 20 Direction, subtract the given equation 7 minus 7 is equal to 12 minus 4 is equal to 19 minus 6 is equal to 14 minus 5 is equal to 
18 minus 8 is equal to Today, we are going to learn how to subtract numbers with minuends up to 20. Unlocking of difficulties, taken away, left, minuend, minus, difference, equal, and subtrahend. Pair work, direction, do the task below. Work with a partner to answer the subtraction sentences. What do you observe about the numbers? Very good! The answers for each line are the same. The answers in each column decrease by 1 from top to bottom. The minuends in each column are the same. The subtrahends in each column increase by 1 from top to bottom. The answers are one-digit numbers. How did you find the answer to each subtraction sentence? Let's try this. Direction, solve the equation below. Pair work, direction, subtract. How did you find the answer to each subtraction sentence? Direction, find the difference. Week 4, Day 3. Find the missing number in addition or subtraction sentences and relate addition and subtraction. Subtract the given equation. 11 minus 8 is equal to 12 minus 4 is equal to 16 minus 5 is equal to 14 minus 7 is equal to 19 minus 6 is equal to Direction, I will show you a number of balls drop inside the box. Write an addition sentence to represent the number of balls in the A to S box. What does the 5 and 3 represent? What does 8 tell us? Today, we are going to find the missing number in addition or subtraction sentences. Unlocking of difficulties. Mean when, subtrahend, difference, minus, subtract, opposite, Sum, add, add, equal, take away, or remove. Finding the missing number in addition or subtraction sentences. Direction, I will tell you the number of balls but one of the compartments will be covered. You are going to guess the number of balls in the uncovered compartments. I have here 7 balls. I will drop 4 balls in the compartment. Let's answer the question and fill the chart below. How many balls are dropped in the A to S box? How many balls are there in the uncovered compartment? Now, I will write the number sentence. What does 4 tell you? What does 7 tell you? What does the blank tell you? How many balls do you think are in the covered compartment? How do you know? Can this be written in subtraction sentence? How? Now, 
I will write the subtraction sentence. 7 minus 4 is equal to... Let's answer the question and fill the chart below. Addition sentence. Subtraction sentence. Let's answer the question and fill the chart below. Direction, let us compare the addition sentences with the subtraction sentences. Addition and subtraction are related operations. If in addition, we put together groups of objects or we add objects to a group of objects. In subtraction, we take away or remove objects from a group of objects. We can also say that addition and subtraction are opposite operations. Direction For each group of numbers, four related number sentences can be formed. Write it in your show me board. Direction Write two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences for each drawing. Direction, find a missing number in an addition or subtraction sentence. Fill in the blanks. Number 1 has been done for you. What are the two subtraction sentences related to 5 plus 4 is equal to 9? How do you find the missing number in an addition sentence or a subtraction sentence? Direction, fill in the blanks to complete each number sentence. Week 4, Day 4 Write an equivalent expression to a given addition or subtraction expression. Today, we are going to write an equivalent expression to a given addition or subtraction expression. Unlocking of difficulties. Difference minus sum add equal number phrase, number sentence, subtraction phrase, equivalent number phrase, and value. Let's play. Are you ready? Things needed. A deck of cards for the game. Rules of the game. Put the cards face down on a table or desk. Each player picks any two cards from the set of cards. Both cards must either be addition or subtraction expressions. When one addition card and one subtraction card are chosen, the player returns both cards. The player gives the sum or difference of the number expression shown. If the sums or differences are the same, the player keeps the cards. Example, two addition cards are chosen. 4 plus 3 and 2 plus 5. Since both cards have the same sum, which is 7, the player keeps both cards. Two subtraction cards are chosen, 4 minus 1 and 5 minus 2. Since both cards have the same difference of 3, the player keeps both cards. The player continues until no more cards can be matched or the teacher declares the end of the game. The player with the most number of cards wins. Direction Ask the learners for the pair of cards. 
Why did you pair these number expressions? If two number expressions have the same difference or sum, we can say that they are equal. We can write them this way. What does the equal sign tell us? Let's try this direction. Circle the letter of the equivalent expression. Number 1 has been done for you. Write an equivalent expression. Number 1 has been done for you. How do you know if two number expressions are equivalent? A. Write an equivalent number expression. B. Fill in the blank. Week 4, Day 5, Second Summative Test Maraming salamat mga bata!